It was supposed to have been just a normal flight to the West Coast. Then, something evil was about to happen. For legendsoffaith.org, I'm Rob Cutter. It was a beautiful fall morning as passengers were being dropped off at Newark International Airport. Once inside the terminal, passengers were lining up at the ticket counter, checking in their bags. Just another day at one of the busiest airports in the world. When the gate agent announced that United Flight 93 was ready for boarding, a small line began forming as passengers with their tickets in hand waited for their turn to board. A short time later, everybody was on board and the passengers began settling in for their five plus hour flight to San Francisco. A few minutes later, the captain came on the intercom system, informing the folks that there was a delay due to heavy air traffic. It was 8.42 a.m. that United Airlines flight was finally airborne, heading to the West Coast. The plane was carrying seven crew members and 33 passengers flying under the radar. There were also four hijackers who had successfully boarded the plane with knives and box cutters. A half hour into the flight, the flight attendants were getting ready for their breakfast service when airport control informed the crew that the World Trade Center was struck by an airplane. It was approximately 10 minutes later that the cockpit of United Airlines flight number 93 had been breached and the terrorist had control of the plane. Confusion, disbelief and terror crept through the cabin as the terrorist began ordering passengers to sit down and telling them there was a bomb on board the airplane. In the back of the airplane, passengers and some of the crew members made a series of calls on their cell phones and on the in-flight earphones informing family members and officials on the ground of the plane's hijacking. When they learned the fate of the three other hijacked flights in New York City and Washington, D.C., the passengers on board Flight 93 realized that their plane was involved in a larger terrorist plot and would likely be used to carry out further attacks on U.S. soil. After a brief discussion, a few of the passengers decided to fight back against their hijackers. At 9.57 a.m., the passengers and crew members aboard Flight 93 began their counterattack. Just before that, passenger Todd Beamer called an airphone operator. He asked the operator to convey a message to his wife and his two boys about his love for them. She told Todd that she would, and then both prayed the Lord's Prayer. And Todd went on to recite Psalm 23, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And with that, he said, Jesus, help me. Todd was heard over an open line saying to his fellow passengers, they all rushed to the front of the aircraft. In response, the hijacker piloting the plane began to whirl the aircraft, pitching it up and down to throw the charging passengers off balance. It was a few minutes later that the airplane then rolled on its back and plowed into an empty field in rural Pennsylvania. On the morning of September 11, 2001, the deadliest terrorist attack in U.S. history took place when four commercial airliners were hijacked by members of the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda. When emergency personnel arrived on the scene, the smell of burning jet fuel and tires burned the nostrils of the rescue workers as they tried to look for hope in the debris. Then, as if it was a sign from God, one rescue worker thought she saw something, and then she ran over to the area and found an open Bible just yards away from the rubble, and it was there for everyone to see. Flight 93's intended target is not definitely known, but it is believed that the hijackers were targeting a government institution or even a nuclear power plant. Nearly 3,000 people lost their lives during the attack on that day, a number that would almost certainly have been higher if not for the actions of those brave heroes on board United Flight 93. For more stories like this and for ways to donate, visit us at legendsoffaith.org.